Welcome to Water Lily Republic. This is where we practice real freedom of speech. Not some French made freedom of speech limited by stupid fucking things like anti anti Semitism laws or anti racist laws. Here we offend everyone. So if you feel offended by some of our contents, make sure you write down your rival community's name so that we can offend them in our next videos. Good luck, citizen. Hello, citizens. It's your chancellor speaking. So, I thought of electing chess as our national game for my fellow citizens of Water Lily Republic. But, there seems to be a little problem. My Minister of Religious Affairs informed me that a Saudi dude declared chess is prohibited in Islam. I admit that's a serious problem, because we happen to be a secular republic. But I can't think of any other game resembling the intelligent citizens of our great republic. So, Instead of replacing the game, I thought maybe we could find out why the game is harem, and, if there is any way to make it halal. First we have to look for the reasons of why the game is prohibited in Islam. One of my agent in my spy agency informed that, it's harem because the queen moves too freely. I mean he is joking right? That cannot be the obvious reason, but even if it is, we will get to that later. First if you look closely, by closely I mean very closely, you will see that there is a holy freaking cross in top of the king's head. Stop blaming Islam for being very conservative, this game literally resembles Christianity for God's sake. Now in our first attempt of halalizing the game, we will replace the holy freaking cross with a nice and beautiful crescent, just like Hagia Sophia. That looks better now. Now, in our second attempt, we will rename the bishops into muftis. Because bishops happen to be Christian clerics or something. By renaming them muftis, we are making sure that the real muftis of Saudi Kingdom, will be happy about this, and will not declare chess prohibited anymore. After all this halalization, the main problem still remains. The queen, which happens to be a female, moves freely every fucking where without the permission or consent from the king which might be realistic in the western world, but not in this islamized chess, where the king holds the dignity of the holy crescent, will not tolerate such insult from a woman. So in our third attempt of halalizing the game, we will put a veil on top of the queen, and will swap the power between the king and the queen. Unlike the western fat ass kings, in our game the goal will be to protect the queen. The king will invade the enemy lines and will sacrifice itself in time to protect the queen. Because that's what Sigma males do. During that time, the queen will enjoy her full freedom, in her kitchen, surrounded by pawns. Even after all the halalizing we have done, there seems to remain a huge problem, by saying huge problem, I actually mean incredibly huge problem, have you ever wondered, what genders are those pawns? They could be males, they could be females, they could be, transgender, but there seems to be a little problem here. You see this game resembles medieval warfares. During medieval times almost all civilized nations had male soldiers. So from that, we assume these pawns are also males. Now in chess if the pawn reaches the end of the battlefield, it suddenly becomes a queen. You see where this is going right? A male soldier suddenly becomes the king's wife. Either the king decides to dick down the male soldiers, or the soldier himself understand that he doesn't want to be a male anymore as he loves the king. Thus changes his gender as his inner female self reveal. Now hold the fuck up, the CNN might love this love story, but not us. As a great president once said, we are not gays. So in our last attempt we will stop this whole kind of transgender thing in our holy game. We would rather promote the soldier into a general once he reaches the end, so let's review our steps to halalize chess. Number 1, replace the cross with a crescent. Number 2, rename the bishops into muftis. Number 3, put a veil on the queen, and swap her power with the king. Number 4, remove the whole gay thing from the game. Now here I present you, a whole new set of Islamized chess. Present this in front of Ayatollah Khamenei for legalization. You will probably get shot. Wait. 
One of my agent just informed me that playing chess is a sin in Christianity too. Can you fucking believe this? Now I have to Christianize the whole thing in order to declare it as national game for our secular republic. I would rather not. Instead I declare Hearts of Iron 4 as the new national game of Water Lily Republic. Because as far as I am concerned, nobody declared it prohibited in their religion. Goodbye, fellow citizens. Stay home, stay safe.